In this video, I will be using Wix to create MSI installation file for Microsoft Office 365. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, if you want to create your own Microsoft Office 365 MSI installation file, first you will need to install Wix. And in the bottom of the page, I have my other video covering the Wix installation. And now I will begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for the package. First, I will need setup.exe from the Office deployment tool. Then I will need Office configuration file and also Wix configuration file. And I will begin by downloading Office deployment tool. And for that, I will use the link that I have here in the GitHub page. And this brings me to the Office deployment tool download page. And here I will just click on this download button. Then I will go back to my GitHub page. Here I have the office configuration file that I will be using. I will click on it and as you can see I will be installing Office Home Premium retail version. It doesn't really matter what configuration file you're using. In this case I will be just using this one. So I will click on the button right here to download this file. And next we need a Wix configuration file. And here in my GitHub page I have two Wix configuration files. One of them is called M365-Wix. And this is a Wix configuration file that has all the information already filled in. So if you want, you can use it as an example. But for this video, I will be using the one that is called template. I will click on it and I will click on the button right here to download the file. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And now I need to get the setup.exe file from this Office deployment tool installation file. You can install it, but in this case, I will just use 7-zip to extract this executable. I will go inside of this folder and I will grab the setup.exe file and I will move it to my downloads folder. And then I will remove the folder that I just created and also the office deployment tool installation file. And now I will modify this Wix configuration file. First I will rename the file, so I will right click on it, select rename and I will name it m365-installer and then I will right click on the file and I will open it with Visual Studio Code. You can use any other text editor. As you can see, it's only an XML file. Basically, it's instructions for Wix on how to package our files into MSI file. And here we need to provide a few bits of information about the package that we are creating. First, we need to name our package. I will name it Microsoft Office M365 Installer. Then for exe, we need to provide the name of the executable that we want to execute during the installation. In this case, we need to provide this file name, setup.exe. So I'll just select this file, select the full name to include the extension because extension is important. And I will copy the name and insert the name here. Same goes for this config field. We need to provide our Office M365 installation configuration file name. So once again, I will go here, right click on the file, select rename, I will select full name to include the extension, and then I will copy the name and insert the file name in here. For the path, we need to enter the location where we have our setup.exe and the configuration file for office installation. And in my case, I have both of them in my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my D drive. So I will enter D and then downloads. The version number is not that important because this is the version number for our installer and it has nothing to do with the office version number. So in this case, I will just enter 1.0.0. .0. Publisher is also not important, but it's a mandatory field that we need to provide. In this case, I will enter, let's do automation. And then we need to provide a unique identifier for our package. And for that, I will be using a command that I have here in my GitHub page. It's a PowerShell command, so I'll click on the button right here. Then I will open the terminal window and insert the command and press enter. And as you can see, every time I'm using this command, I'm getting a new unique identifier. So I'll copy one of the values and then go back here and insert the value here. And that's basically it. Now I can create my MSI file. And to do that, I need to open a terminal window. I will open the one that I have here. And in here, first thing that I need to do is to go to the location where I have all of my files. And like I said before, I have all of my files in my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my D drive. 
So I will type cd d and then downloads. Press enter and if I type there, here I can see all the files that I have in my downloads folder. Now to generate the MSI file, we need to type wix build and provide the wix configuration file name. So in this case, it's m365-installer.wxs. Let's press enter. And the MSI file was generated as you can see here. And now to test this MSI file, I will right click on it, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. Also here I have the software folder, so I will go inside of it and I will place the MSI file in it. Also in the same folder, I have this PSExec executable because I will be performing silent installation. And also I will be performing the installation under the system account. And I'm doing that because I want to make sure that the installation is successful under the system user. And to do that, I will open another terminal window inside of the virtual machine. I will run it as administrator. I will click yes here. And then I need to navigate in my command line to the location where I have both of my files. I will just click here and copy the location. Then I will type cd in the terminal, insert the location, press enter. To double check, I will type there. And here in the command line, I have both of my files, the xxx executable and also um, the m365 installer.msi file. And the next step is to open another command line window, but this time under the system user. And to do that, we need to type pxexec executable name, dash i for interactive, dash s for system user, and then we need to provide the process that we want to start under the system account. So I will enter cmd, press enter. Now we have this window. If I type who am I in here, we can see that this command line window is running under anti-authority system user. Now, once again, we need to change the location in the command line to the location where we have our files. So I'll type cd, insert the location. And because this is a different drive, I also need to change the drive. So I'll enter d drive. And now we have the correct location. To double check, we can type there. And once again, we see both of the files. And now to execute the installation, I will type cmd slash c. This is not necessary, but in most cases, it allows us to see when the installation is over just by looking at the command line. And then I will provide the MSI file name. So it's m365 installer.msi. Then I will add parameter qn for silent installation and also I will add no restart. Then let's press enter and now we need to wait a bit. And the installation seems to be over if I go to my start menu. Somewhere here we should see office applications. Here we can see word. Let's try to open it. And it seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And see you in the next one.